welcome to another video on Living Water Stream. So today is number five of our advent calendar. So Yay. let's get right to it. So here we're in Leo's advent calendar. Here's number five. So okay. let's open, open it. it. It's a snowman. Oh. It's red. It's a red snowman and it's so cute. So time to go to mine. It's time to open mine now. So number five. Oh, this is so cute. The little dog. Oh my goodness, these are so hard to get out. So I'm gonna come back when it's out. So it's this little Scottish dog. Oh, it is so cute. Oh, oops. Um, it's so cute. It's just white with blue eyes. I like the it's color so... combinations with the eyes and the fur. Okay, let's find number six. Number six is right here. All right, open it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do it with your thumb. So we got a reindeer, it's super cute. It's like all plasticky, it has like no designs. But, but that's it's so cute. Yeah, it's still cute. So let's see what I have in my LPS one. We're gonna open number seven. So let's it's see. up here. Up there, okay, ready, one, two, three. Oh man, this <gasps> one is hard, like, oh. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that car. It's, it's. It's so cool. So this is a car to like a shark. It's, wow, it's so sparkly and so cool. I like the clear tires with the co color combinations. This is cool. Not to open six and seven for mine. So here's six on my advent calendar. So let's open it up. Oh, I got a scarf. I love the LPS scarves. I have one, but I'm so happy to get another one. Ah, here it is. Oh, I won't focus. Can you focus? There we go. There it is. Now, let's go on to seven. Right here. Guessing it's a tin teapot because it goes like a pattern next to LPS accessories. So, yep, I was right. It's a tin teapot. And it's so cute, the little bunny. It's so adorable. So we got this bunny teensy pet for seven. It's so cute. Oh, and we also got this purple scarf. This one's really cute too. So now I wonder what I'm gonna get for number eight tomorrow. So now it's time for Bumble. Okay, so today we're going to be reading in the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 18, all the way to chapter 2, I mean, yeah, chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. So let's read. This is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law, he had did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He had, to mind, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. 
When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife, but he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. All right, that's it for today, guys. Hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. Remember, kids, God loves you very much. Bye.